Hi everyone, how are you? I have not done a sit down video in what feels like the longest time ever. Um, I'm just having a cup of tea. But I wanted to basically make a video today talking about the things that I got for Christmas as presents. Um, I feel a little bit weird making this video, but at the same time I was vlogging yesterday and I was like, oh my god, I want to show them this. And then I turned and do, oh my god, I want to show them this. And then I was like, this is going to take up the entire vlog, so I might as well just make a little video kind of just sharing with you guys um, some things that I was really lucky to get for Christmas, which is really exciting. But I hope you all had really lovely holidays. It's the new year already, which is crazy and is really exciting. And yeah, let's just, let's just jump right into it. The first thing that's on my list of favorites, I'm just trying to grab it, um, was from Liz. And I think that this might be my favorite present that I got this year. Um, she really just nailed it on the head. It's so thoughtful. She got me this little backpack from Urban Outfitters. So it's like a small kind of sized backpack, which I've been looking for for a while. Um, it kind of magnetizes and then has like a drawstring. It has a lot more space than you would think. Um, and it has like a little... A little pocket holder in there too I love it she basically got it for me so that I can carry around my camera with us with us when we're when I'm vlogging for a day um, because otherwise it's such a hassle I'm just like holding it in my hands or it's in my pocket or I'm like oh hold this somebody um, I'm obsessed with this I've been already starting to bring it everywhere I go even if I'm not vlogging the second thing on my list was from Ari um, who's my best friend in case you for some reason have never seen my videos before she's all over the place in them um, so this is a Joby gorilla tripod which I'm sure if you have watched other YouTube videos before seen other youtubers this is like insanely insanely popular um, currently what I have for tripods I should have brought it over to show you guys but I have my vlogging tripod I always link that in the description with my gear that I use um, it's a Manfrotto, but it's one of the small handle ones. The other one that I'm using right now is also a Manfrotto one that I got for my birthday that's a lot of like a taller kind of three leg like sprawl out, make it really big kind of thing. I'll link them all in the description so you can see what I'm talking about. But this is really, really awesome because I kind of sometimes struggle to like make sit, sit down videos in my house like... I'm just in a corner of my room right now like I'm in front of my closet like there isn't a lot of space for me to film here um, so this kind of gives me more flexibility so I don't have to set up a massive tripod around my house if I don't have the space to I can use this and like plop down somewhere and make a video and I am obsessed with it I think Liz keeps playing with it it's like all like messed up but no that was very thoughtful and I really really love that gift too the third item on my list is actually what I'm wearing this was given to me by my aunt. It wasn't my Christmas present, or my Christmas present. It wasn't my Christmas list. And it's a cashmere sweater that's like plain black, but on the sleeve it says Billy. And it's from the Billy Company, which is run by Candace Poole Neistat. Um, if you've ever watched Casey Neistat's videos, you'll know that that's his wife. Um, but also, what do I have from her? Oh, maybe it's just the stickers that, that she sent out. Um, but anyways, she basically has more of like a jewelry line and over the last couple of years has made more clothing. Um, and I really wanted this. I just love that it's really simple and it just says the company's name on the sleeve. And I love it. I'm obsessed. Um, it's so soft. I've never, I don't think I've ever really owned anything that's cashmere before, so I'm going to take really good care of it. <laughs> the next thing on my list is from Liz. She This came a little bit late. This actually literally just came two days ago. Um, I wore it all day yesterday. In with this and it did not I didn't need a jacket and if you've been watching my vlogs you know that it is absolutely freezing outside today it's five degrees but this is one of those like fluffy jacket things it's like all the rage these days all the kids are wearing them but it looks like this like kind of teddy bear like comfy consistency on the outside and on the inside on this one it's just like this plain like I don't really know what this fabric is and I don't really know where she ordered it either. I'm going to have to ask her for the link. Because um, I'm going to link everything in the description box of this video. So you guys can see what the heck I'm talking about. But the label says choices. It's a medium. It fits like oversized. But it's supposed to be. Um, it is more of like a boxy cut. But I kind of like that. Because I think that's supposed to be like the style of the jacket. 
and it does have pockets which is like the best part ever and they're so cozy like the full material on the inside I love it so much it's so 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 nice I was not expecting that I did not ask for that but she definitely knew that I would love it and she was right the next thing that I got from well, from Liz um, are actually pins she gets me these I feel like she got them for me for my birthday maybe Christmas last year um, and I put them on my apron at work because um, if you don't know already I work at Lush but anyways she got me these two and this one says fight like a girl and it says girl power and then this one's Michelle Obama's face <laughs> I love them I have what else do I have that she's given me before um, the snapchat ghost uh, stay at home club it's like this woman surrounded by cats um, Oh, why do I not remember them? I get compliments on them all the time at work, um, but I'm excited I'm going to add these to my apron today. The next thing on my list is actually sitting right next to me. I so nicely was given an iPad from my parents for Christmas. I've kind of been like hinting like all year that I really want one of these. Um, I do have like a very, very old one that was, I think, either the first or second generation of iPads that came out like eight years ago or so. And it doesn't really work any well, well anymore. Um, my laptop is one of like the bigger MacBook Pros, so it's like kind of heavy to like carry around with you and like move her all around the house. Like I'm being a little bit dramatic, but anyways, I really wanted an iPad. So I've been using this nonstop. It's what I have my list on for this video. Um, I barely use my laptop now. I feel like I'm only using it for editing, but also I'm not in school right now, so I feel like. I will revert back to the um, laptop a little bit more when I have to do like work assignments for school. But anyways, I love my iPad. It's the best. It's so nice. It's not one of the newer ones, um, but I think I'd be confused on using that one because I think it's a little bit more complicated. The next thing that I have on my list is very exciting. Um, Kia and I exchanged Christmas presents. If you haven't seen that video already, I'll link it down below. But it was a vlog from Vlogmas um, where she was home. She just got home from London and gave me my Christmas presents and so nicely went to the Oxford Street store um, at Lush in London and got me a ton of Oxford Street exclusives that I am obsessed with. Um, I probably should have made like a separate video on this, but whatever I'm just gonna show you guys some of the things that she got me I might not go through all of them but I'm gonna go grab some because I totally forgot to grab them for this video <laughs> I've just grabbed a couple of things um hope this doesn't fall that Kia got me in Oxford Street so I don't really have like very detailed explanations of a lot of these things um but nevertheless this is the Oxford Street soap um which is exclusive only to the Oxford Street store. It looks like this like plain white block, but when you look at it in the store, I think it says Oxford Street on it in like, in, like dark green or something. Oh, that smells so good. I think it's supposed to have the 29 and a half high street perfume or 29 high street perfume, which is like that lush scent. They actually made like a scent that's like specifically smells like when you walk into a Lush store um and it has more of like jasmine in it it has neroli lemon oil bergamot I love that it smells so good I haven't used it yet um but lucky for you guys because then I can show you it all in one piece this is what is this one called little dragon bubble bar this is ginger oil, clove, cinnamon. This smells really good. I can already smell it. Oh, I'm getting glitter everywhere. And it's so cool looking. This is like a reusable bubble bar. How cool is that? It's huge. And ooh, one of the other things that she got me, its this is probably one of my favorite smelling things that she got me. She got me a couple of other things I just didn't show you guys. This is the cyanide pill bath bomb. It smells so good. I wish I had a million of these. Oh my god, I love, love, love that. This, um, I have no idea what this smells like because the label rubbed off, but it smells very, very good. Now, the last few things that she got me from the store I had asked for, and then kindly she gave them to me as a gift. Um, they're like my favorite things in the world. This is a massive tub of Ultra Bland, which if you guys, I think I might have shown this in a vlog. If you guys know, Ultra Bland is like, my absolute favorite facial cleanser ever. 
it's pretty funny because I feel like it's one of like not the most boring Lush products but like Lush makes some pretty exciting like really cool things and this is like a face cleanser that has like six ingredients in it it's just like the best I love it it's probably my favorite Lush product ever and I just I just love it it's huge it's a huge tub usually you get one that's like this big that you can get in North America and last but not least that she got me is this massive bottle of American cream which is the conditioner that I use um, we make sizes that go up to like I think this big in um, the US but anyways it has that like vanilla strawberry perfume scent I love this so 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 much um, and if I haven't explained already at the Oxford Street store in London they do make like extra large sizes so like this is an entire 950 grams I don't really know what that means because we don't measure that <laughs> we don't measure like that in the US but anyways um, yeah they make extra large sizes of things so when I knew she was going I was like oh my god I really just want like a huge tub of ultra bland that's like just I couldn't stop thinking about it so very exciting I love those um, let's see what else is on my list I've got two more things on my list of Christmas things um, I'm sorry this video is probably so long um, this, I need to tie the laces, but whatever, you guys get the point. These are sneakers that Liz got me. They are Nike Airs. They might be a little bit dirty. I've worn them outside. I freaking love these. They, like, go on, like, socks, and they just fit so comfor comfortably to your feet. Um, I love the, like, simple black and white. I'm terrible at picking out shoes. I've had the same pair of shoes for way, 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 way too long. Um but I'm obsessed with these. I've been wearing them a lot. Um, but like I said, it's also like five degrees outside. So definitely wear those a lot more in the springtime too. Last but not least, this is another one of my favorite gifts that I got this Christmas. Um, this is from Ari. She got me one of these like reusable water bottles, but it's so nice. I love that it has this like marble effect on the outside and it doesn't make a really cringy noise when you open it, like a lot of them do. And it keeps your water, like, freezing cold, like, all day. I've just been using this around the house, but she got it for me um, for, like, school and the internship I'm starting next semester. So, um, I'm really excited. This is the company's called Mira, Myra. I don't know where she got it from, but I'm obsessed. I love it. Um, I love all of my gifts. I just really wanted to show you guys what I got. So, I hope this video wasn't, like, obnoxious or anything, but... I will link everything in the description box down below so you guys can see um, where some of the stuff came from. I'm going to have to ask a couple of people for links because obviously I did not buy myself these things. But anyways, I don't think that the um, lists of the Oxford Street products are online, but I'll link like a normal link to Ultra Bland and American Cream so you guys can see what they are because we do sell those in the U.S. They're just the extra, extra big sizes. <laughs> but anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, feel free to hit the like button if you like this video. Um, subscribe down below too if you haven't already. I'm planning on coming out with a lot more videos um, this year. Hopefully it will work um, because I always say that and then sometimes life just gets in the way. But I have been vlogging um, a little bit and I did make a 2017 wrap up video which I'll link down in the description box as well. If you haven't seen that already, go check it out. It's one of my favorite things that I've made. Um, I really love it. My mom has watched it like probably 20 times. <laughs> but anyways, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!